In this video, we'll show you the types of graphs available with NoCaddy. Be aware that the graphs discussed in this video will not appear at PokerStars live tables in order to comply with their terms of service. They are eligible to appear at tables for other sites and in the replayer. The three types of graphs we'll discuss each have their own purpose. Spark graphs allow you to view large amounts of data rapidly. Scatter graphs help you with bet sizing tells. And heat maps give the ability to visualize preflop ranges quickly. Spark Graph's main purpose is to allow users to absorb large amounts of data in a small time frame. In this note, we can see that the player made an in-position flop c-bet 62% of the time. The Spark Graph on the right side of the note makes spark points of the hand strength for hands that were shown down. If the spark point is higher, it means it has occurred more often. Green sparks on the left side are the weakest hands, black sparks in the middle are medium strength hands, and red sparks on the right are the strongest hands. In our example here, we see the player has a few weak spark points, but mostly has medium and strong strength hands. You'll notice a blue vertical line and an orange vertical line. The blue line represents the average strength from everyone in your database. The orange line represents this player's average strength. We can see here that this player has shown a slightly stronger range in comparison to his database on average. If you don't see the blue vertical line, you can turn it on in the Note Caddy settings, Note settings, then show player pool average strength in Caddy Spark. A Spark graph can be enabled for a note definition by choosing Use Caddy Spark in the Note Definitions HUD Options tab. Scatter graphs are useful to help make bet sizing reads on your opponents. This type of graph plot points on an X and Y axis graph where X horizontal corresponds to the bet or raise size and Y vertical corresponds to the strength of the hand. A simple example to show the usefulness of scatter graphs would be if a player has a tendency to overbet the river with bluffs. Scatter graphs are ideal at picking up on tells like this. Have a look at this example where a player showed down and overbet three times and had a bluff on each one. By default, the colors of the points for the preflop will be red, flop is green, turn is blue, and river is gray or black. These colors are configurable in the note caddy settings. The main scatter graph is interactive. You can click to show only a certain street or turn off bets or raises. You can also mouse over any point on a graph to bring up the hand as well. To use the main scatter graph, add the stat named nc.playeroverview or nc.scatteroverview to your HUD. Scatter graphs can also be applied to individual notes by making sure that Use Caddy Scatter is enabled in the Definitions HUD Options tab. Here's how a scatter graph looks for an individual note. The size of the scatter graphs are also configurable in the Note Caddy settings. Note Caddy heat maps are hand charts which allow you to quickly visualize preflop hand ranges. When you don't have time to read the text notes that Note Caddy generates, these heat maps can be quite helpful. You can make a heat map expand by clicking on it. The darker that a hand is shaded means the more times that that hand has occurred. For a note to display a heat map, it just needs to have the dollar sign card range variable assigned to its description field. As you just witnessed, the three types of note caddy graphs give you lots of extra information to help you make more informed decisions while playing online poker. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the tables.